Hello and welcome to step 5 of the step-by-step -step guide. In this video, we will look at how to activate the Specflow Plus runner. Before you continue with this video, please note that this video is only relevant if you picked Specflow Plus runner as your test framework runner in step 3 during the configuration of Specflow project. Therefore, you may skip this video if you picked a different runner. In the previous step, we encountered the not run error in the test explorer once we executed the test. To fix this, we have to activate the Specflow Plus runner using a Microsoft account. First, navigate to the output window and pick tests from the dropdown. Here you will see a message asking you to sign up for a free Specflow runner account. Copy the activation link onto your favorite browser and hit enter. You will then see a welcome screen. Click the sign in with Microsoft button. Preferably, use your work or student Microsoft account to sign in, but if your professional account is restricted and you run into issues, you can always use your personal Microsoft account. After the authentication with the selected account, Microsoft will ask for your permission to sign into Specflow and share your basic profile information with Specflow. Please accept the permission request to continue. Fill in the required account details on the next page and click Create Account. You will then see a message showing the successful activation of your Specflow account. Your Specflow Plus runner is now activated and it's ready to use. Now you can switch back to Visual Studio and re-execute the tests. The tests will execute now and show the duration in milliseconds, but the test does not do much yet and it shows the skip status. This is expected. In the next video, we will look at binding your first step to automate your first scenario step with Specflow. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.